So, we have five locations. Um, I can do it in roughly the same order I did the last time. I the first time I did this, I had wondered if Jane was going to show up during Theramore. She doesn't. But it is related to the reason why. Um, we just need to Crystal Song first. Crystal Song Forest, the Blue Dragon Lanagosa. Sent her aid to mortals during the most recent war against the Burning Legion. However, she failed to respond to the Call of the Isles. Has something befallen her? Or has she simply chosen not to return? Whatever her reasons, Azuragos's globe seems to suggest that she was last seen in Crystal Song Forest. Um, I don't know the oldest of my kind. Anagosa has always been cordial with me. I hope she's alright. All will be well. Regrets in Crystal. I have some idea what Lenagos must be doing for Sasong Faros, although I cannot imagine why she has taken it upon herself to do it. That forest conceals within it the ruins of Shandra, a former highborn settlement on the site of one of the mortal races first clashes with the blue dragon fight. If Lenagos truly is in Crystal Song, then may well have something to do with Shandra. Seek her out, Matori, and try to convince her to return to us. Speak to Lanagosa and Crystal Song for us. Fly true. Crystal Song's arcane corruption makes it difficult to ground a portal, but I should be able to get you close. Best of luck, my friend. Give Lanagosa my regards, and tell her she is dearly missed here. Oh, there's a portal. <laughs> Back to North Run. Ah! I remember when he would strike terror, Thrym would. He's walking right towards me. Ah, I'm just gonna go down the stairs. He turns around and goes back anyway. But I do remember when I was powerful enough to go in there and, and swat him down, I did that quite a bit. When I originally did these quests, um, it was like the, very close to the day Log of patch. entry 386. The echoes seem docile today. My search for the remaining relic shards continues. With luck, my work will soon reach its end, so long as- Hold on a moment! You are actually alive, are you not? Well, that is certainly a refreshing change. As I was starting to say, the last time I was around here, um, it was super crowded. So this should hopefully be better. For many of, of the of these quests that I'm going to do now. Hello there. Forgive me, shaman. I mistook you for a tormented tormented arcane apparition. Nope. Do not give me that look. You would be surprised how easy it is to mistake easy a mistake that is to make out here. See you around. No doubt Caligos has sent you. I heard the call to the Isles as we all did, but I cannot leave this place now. Not while the tormented memories of Chandra are still condemned to walk this crystal waste. It really wanted me to return. Though perhaps you can be of assistance. Those we left behind. All right then. In attempting to defend their home against the fury of the blue dragon fight. Chandral's mages condemn the souls of their people to an eternity of crystalline torment. 
Now their echoes wander aimlessly, relieving their civilizations, civil, civilization, civilization's doom again and again for more than 10,000 years. I have found that some of the shades yet retain a shard of sentience. Perhaps they can be reasoned with, convinced to free themselves from the mire of their own ancient fear and pass on at last. Ease the restless echoes of Chanderelle. Except. I should get back to it. A shattered legacy. All right then. Chanderelle's reckless use of the crystal, reckless use of the crystal focus, placed too much stress on the relic, causing it to shatter. Its fragments have been scattered amidst the crystalline permafrost. You can create the. I can recreate the focus, but I will need you to collect enough of those shards to give me something to go on. You should be able to give, find them amongst the piles of crystal refuse scattered throughout the area. Take heed, Shum. Those shards may still hold fragments of the mage's memories of that fateful day. Retrieve the fragments of the crystal focus. I should get back to it. This is a logbook. The floating tome before you appears to be a collection of research notes. A quill floats nearby as if ready to inscribe new words on a, on a fresh page. Several bookmarks are wedged hastily into the book at various points. Check the next bookmark. Log entry one. Author's note. Introduction to be added. <laughs> focus on detailing theft of crystal focus from the Nexus Vault. Today the ramifications of that battle between Shandaral and the Blue Dragonflight yet remain, lingering in every grain of arcane-tinged permafrost that still sits within the desecrated ruins of Shandaral. Even now, the keening din occupies the ruins as the spirits repeatedly relive their collective demise. This thesis seeks to accomplish the following. First, to establish the cause of this arcane anomaly that binds the spirits to the place of their death. Second, to discern an efficient means by which to undo said anomaly. And finally, to perform the, pre the requisite ritual to ensure that the spirits here may finally rest. Check the next bookmark. Log entry 45. Initial attempts to counteract the anomaly with basic spellbreaking methods have failed. Curiously, the anomaly seems resistant to any manner of spellwork that I myself cast. It is as if the enchantment holds the memory of those enchants in high regard and straightens itself against those beings whose advance it was employed to stop. In other words, I fear that this enchantment, however inadvertently, may specifically ward against interference of blue dragons. This is both exceedingly ironic and remarkably problematic for my continued research. We'll have to explore other options. Check the next bookmark. Log entry 199. I have lost track of time since I last spoke to another living soul. Based on the progression of the moons through the sky, I believe it has been roughly a year since I arrived in Crystal Song Forest. I have made little progress. The shards of the crystal focus that I believe was used to put this enchantment in place lay scattered across the ground I walk upon. When I move to gather them, though, they flee from my very touch. It's as if they remember Shindrel's grudge against the flight. Still, I am not deterred. Blue dragons created this problem, and the blue dragon shall see to its end. I only wish I had become I had someone to talk to. In the meantime, someone other than a floating book, that is. Check the next bookmark. Log entry 230-something-4234. I am tired. The keening grows of the echoes of Shandaral wear upon my mind like a chorus of the damned. They cry out in fear with frightening regularity. The loop repeats over and over, no variation, no relief. I am at my wit's end. Perhaps this truly is reversible. Okay, let's go find some crystals. Crystals. Let's go find crystals. Let's go find some crystals. Um, this looks like a crystal. They're crystals now. Sorry. Let's go find a crystal. They're pretty obvious. Anxious memory. Holt, who goes there? State your business in Chandral. I. Why, I am Queen Ashara, of course. I am nobody at all. It's all right. I am a friend. I came here to help you. Uh, Matori would be nice about it. Let's 
It's all right, I am a friend. I came here to help you. Friend? Likely story. How do I know the dragons did not send you to retrieve the relic? Gulp. <laughs> Actually, that's not entirely inaccurate. Are you always a subtype? Relax. There's nothing to worry about. Look around you. The danger has passed. This is not the home you remember. Who are you? Get away. Look, I tried. <laughs> I tried honesty. Another anxious memory. It's all right. I'm a friend and I came here to help. Let's try this again. Look around you. The dangerous past is not the home you remember. All right. That went better. Scouts have returned from the forest edge. There are dragons. Beautiful memory. Interloper, what business have you in Chandarel? I should gut you where you stand. Chandarel is gone. You need not protect it any longer. Your captain sent me to relieve you. You can rest now. Chandarel, this is Telebeam. You shouldn't even be here. You should have been in Telebeam. There's rumor that we might be there in the next expansion. But who knows? There's a lot of theories floating around the next expansion. Um, but we're going to try. Shelter all is gone. You need not protect it anymore. And that didn't go over so well. Sorry. This is another dutiful memory, but we'll try a different tactic. Your captain sent me to relieve you. You can rest now. That didn't work either. <laughs> I have a feeling this might be one that you can't ever reason with. Yep. Another dutiful memory. So what we'll try with this one is... We'll try the third one. That didn't work either. <laughs> So no, there is no response you can give dutiful memories that will make them not. Yeah! You are a anxious memory. We have we've done anxious, dutiful, 
dutiful. I don't think this is even anxious and dutiful. I know what we could say for anxious to stop, not attack us. So. I'd rather the last one I do actually be, you know. Frightened memory. Okay, but there actually is a frightened memory. Let's see what this one says. Where am I? Isn't Chandra? Isn't this isn't Chandra? What have we done? What do you mean? Everything is as it should be. Chandra never heard of it. Chandra has been gone for thousands of years. Gone? How can it be gone? This just You could just be a total asshole in this quest. What, afraid a dragon is going to swoop down and snatch you up? That's kind of a long story. Think back, what do you really remember? I remember shadows on the horizon. And stillness. Always stillness. So. So. Anxious, dutiful, and frightened. Those are your three, it looks like. I think I got the rest of the quest, so I can turn these in. I'm trying to dragon ride. Log entry 387. Caligos has sent a mortal to retrieve me. <laughs> Truth be told, I had assumed they had forgotten about me. It is nice to be remembered. I think I have run out of ideas. If reforging the crystal focus does not work, then I do not know what will. Oh, welcome back. Did you find anything? What brings you out here? See you. Log entry 387. Caligos has sent a mortal to retrieve me. Truth be told, I had assumed they had forgotten about me. It is when I did nice this the first time to be remembered. I think um, I have run like out of ideas. Twenty people here. If reforging she the crystal focus going. does not Every work, then I do not it know like, what will. Oh, uh, welcome back. Did you find anything? Well, at least now you know, only two of us. This crystalline prison is not easy to escape. Still. With luck, our work here will is that will let the spirits that yet linger find some modicum of peace. I should get back to it. Malagos's rage fed Chandral's desperation. Now our flight's failure is frozen in crystal for the world to see. See you around. Malagos believed that we alone were capable of stewarding the myriad truths of the arcane, his and our failure to consider the potential of mortals led to the tragedy you see here. All right, then. Arcane Requiem. The time is upon us, Matori. With your help, most of the restless echoes of Shandaral have been quelled. However, yet some remain, whose rage and sorrow burns too brightly to be erased by mere words. Using the shards that you've recovered, I have managed to recreate a facsimile of the crystal focus that brought Shandaral to ruin. Using it here should bring the anchored spirits to bear and give us the opportunity to grant them final rest. Be on guard. I do not know how their long-held sorrows will manifest. Grant the Echoes of Shandaral their final rest. I should get back to it. After all these years, these pieces you've brought me should finally be enough. I have enchanted this new crystal focus with a beacon spell. Use it near a wellspring of arcane energy, and the remaining restless spirits will flock to it. The great crystal tree nearby should do nicely. Shatter the crystal once the spirits have gathered within it, and the enchantment that binds them to these ruins should at last be broken. Now the other thing when, the, when I did this the last time, 
there were 20 people on this part of the quest too and it was like what what did i i had completed it without even doing anything so i want to do it myself this time so i'm gonna stay right over here and wait for them to finish because i want to do the quest myself we're gonna look at chris's song for us ruins of chanterelle so you can get an idea of what they're talking about the the ruin of this area was substantial The way the trees were just like. I mean, this is Lich King era. This is. To get an idea, like, just. It is. That's Dalaran um, in the background. It's not next round. It's, it's the other thing. It's in Zildrak. You can see the map. Ugh. All right. Are they done so I can do the quest? All right. I'm gonna just do it myself. And there it is. So I use it on this. Yeah! They're not reacting well, I guess you could say. Tonight. I may be doing this a bit longer. Okay, now we take out the big guns. I will say it was easier to do. When there were 50 million other people over here. <laughs> ah, we have a druid. I'll tell you, doing the turbulent time waste has been a lot more druids lately, so a lot of people are prepping for uh, the Emerald Dream stuff coming up in 10.2. Which is cool. It's like, I'm not the only one. It's an excuse to level up two more characters. I've got four druids, though. Wait. Four, yes, I have four druids. Blue is um, best. Blue is best. <laughs> At last, the magic that was binding these tormented memories to this ruin has, has been broken. It will be some time before the lesser echoes finally dissipate. Still, with their sources finally banished and the relics' fragments removed, the fragments of memory that remain trapped here will finally be relieved of their torment. See you around. There's been so a sound of silence. It's been so many years since Shendral has known true silence. With luck, our actions today will allow the echoes of this cursed place to fade. You are due back in the Isles. No doubt. So I think it's high time I fly there as well. Return to Caligos and the Azure Spine. All right then. Yay, a portal. With the focusing crystal shattered, the echoes will eventually fade, and these ruins will be silent. At last, the spirits of Shandaral will be permitted a well-deserved rest. It has been many years since I have seen other living, breathing people, let alone members of my kind. I am nervous. Log entry 387, epilogue. The echoes of Shandaral have ended their watch. It is time for me to return home. I 
I'm checking to see if she put in the last log entries. No. She says she, she makes like she's updating it, but she doesn't update it. All right. Back to Calidus. Looks like what's going on? All right. Well met, friend. The aftermath of the conflict in Sandro has hung over our flight like a pall for so many years. To think that Len Lenagosa has been toiling all this time to lay those spirits to rest. Thank you for lending her your aid, Tori. You have once again shown yourself to be a true ally to my people. Come back soon. The search for blue dragons. Thank you for your help so far, Matori. You've still got more blue dragons to track down. I'll give you the honors of choosing where to go next. Choose an area to investigate the missing blue dragons. Keep safe. Okay, next on our list. We've got four more. Jade Forest, Booty Bay, Winter Spring, Theramore. I'm gonna say Booty Bay for last this time. Do winter spring. Hale, matron protectorate, presides over winter spring. Even after defeating the power hungry mage Umbrans, she continues to find and dispel danger in her homeland. As the last living consort of Malagos, she tirelessly upholds the legacy as guardian of magic. Her return would greatly strengthen the blue dragon blood. Ah, Central Gosa. Well met, my young friend. I have been keeping tabs on Pele since my awakening. So much yet to be done. Protector of magic. I am very curious about Pele. She is one of the last living consorts of Malagos. I am grateful for her going to Malagos and for going to Malagos in his time of need. I will admit I have spent some time spying on her. She is a blue dragon through and through. Studious, proud, and one of the more careful ones around magic. I do feel most suited to be the one to visit her about the call of the Isles. Take my portal when you are ready. I shall meet you there. There's a Halle Winter Spring in Kalimdor. Fair skies and strong winds to you. It, it seems that Halle became a consort after Sindragos' death. Um... Dragons could have more than one at that time. Alex Jaza had, I think, three at one time. So. I don't know if Nosdermu had any others. This area is rich with the scent of magic. Halle must be close. Really? There must be something useful in this dratted book. Why title yourself Secrets of Aberrations if all you present is common knowledge? Ugh! <laughs> Hale is there in Winter Spring if you were to go there now or any other point. She is there. Uh, she has a quest line in there. They refer to it. They refer to it, as a matter of fact. Here, here she is. Greetings. Uh, did you need something? Name yourself, intruders. Be careful out there. Sindragosa. It, it can't be. Uh, are you an illusion? Indeed. I am but a simulacrum. I am here to ask about your return to the Dragon Isles. Well, I, I do intend to answer the call. However, as you can see, I have much unfinished business here in Winter Spring. Yes? What can I do for you? Artifacts of L. It is certainly bizarre to see Sindragosa, real and all but the flesh. Look, I appreciate that you both have come all this way for me. The Isles sound delightful, but I've dedicated many years to cleaning up Winter Spring. I'm not about to leave a job unfinished. Magic is abound, and unfortunately not all good. 
If you would like me to help, the Hidden Grove is next on my list. Therein lies ruins of totems that still emanate from some sort of magic. Will you collect pieces of them? Collect five totemic ruins from the Hidden Grove. I can do that. Thank you. For it seems you already know who I am, though we have never met. Since my awakening, I've spent much time learning the current state of affairs in regards to my flight. Many paths led to Winterspring. Change has befallen this area several times over, yet you remain its constant. This was once a home for many blue dragons, including myself. I would like to believe it still can be, after my work is finished here. What is it? Safe travels, my dear. I remember this place. Peaceful at a glance, but it carries a terrible dark history. Farewell then, young one. Okay. Let's see what we got. Apparently, didn't do a bunch of quests over here. I mean, these parts of the quest are relatively short. Yeah, it involves going in a cave, I remember. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the original box wasn't sticking in there. Embrace your rage! That snow frolic box I did capture as a pet. I named him Frolic. One of my hunters has him. I forget, I forget my Border Reliance one. Snowblind. Oh, okay. Did I not tame that? It's like a white, it's a white griffin, right? It's actually pretty cool. Trapped in a tree over there, but... I wasn't streaming, I'd like log out quickly, go on to a hunter and see if they could tame that griffin. But I don't think you can tame griffins. That's... Embrace your rage. I want to see something. I don't think I can.
I still got a little Emma Gosa following me. Let's see if I can remember. The cave, I believe, is Mazthril. I'm actually going to fly down there. It's not too far from where I need to end up anyway, but I'm very, very curious about something. I don't think it phases out for the purposes of this quest. I don't think they're, ex they're not thinking anyone's going to be like, let me go see where the old quest was. In fact, Altered Beasts might actually be the Halle quest. I thought I did it on, on, on Matori, but... Yep. Halle. This is the actual quest um, she refers to. There's blue dragons here. Greetings. I might as well sell some stuff. Um, hmm. Finds when equipped. I'm gonna buy it anyway. I don't think it's soul bound. I'm just gonna throw that at one of my. Uh, You only buy one. Good luck, um, there's a few items in Winter Spring like that. So, there's a few items in earlier zones like that. So, hello. Farewell. So, I don't think you originally know that they these are blue dragons. And you got Zach over here. Zach Simeon. <laughs> Freaky kid. Um, and Jaren Stone Shaper over there. Yes, what can I do for you? It's her, altered beast. What do you ask of the blue flight? So yeah, she tells you right out. I'm Thank a dragon. Thank you for your input. I'm not gonna do this quest now, but we the blue dragons have been forced out of our home, Mazdaro, an imposter by the name of Umbrance. That's what she's referring to. Has, maybe I will do it. Umbrance has has taken advantage of us in a weakest hour and now occupies the cave. Mazarel is a place of extreme potent magic. He does not know how to wield it. Even the wildlife suffers. These beasts nearby have been altered. Please, Torin, I must ask you a favor. Gather their brains so I can see if we can undo this Umbrance's wild magic. Obtain five mana and all brains from altered beasts. You'll receive ten gold. That's a lot of gold brains um i'm not gonna do this now but i wanted to say like the quest i hadn't done it on Matoria, so it's here um safe but, travels my dear but that's the question she's referring to referring to now let's go back to holly the current time i forget what the weird looking kid that's the cave this is where they were. This is Mazzaro. We are going to take a little tour in here, though. Nothing in here can hurt us. You see. Demons. Demons, demons. See, my my guess is... Ah, oh, sorry. I think the boss actually says... The things that we got some satyrs, we got some slimes. Yeah, I find I love how slimes really haven't been updated. Like you go to Abris now and you'll see these same slimes. I mean, that's not a complaint. If you use assets, I just find it amusing. I did not mean to do that. You end up going all the way in now. So you have to do something with these 
global here he is all right so this is umbrans the spirit speaker Trying to get, I'm trying to aggro him. They can't. He's too high up. There's nothing I can do to get his attention. That's the problem. He wasn't so high up. Eh, what happens if we kill? All those dragon essences I've collected, the power is exhilarating. Some rune cloth, there we go. Um yeah. Uh can't even this cave is bigger. Thought there was a dragon here actually. So he's he's not a nice fellow. I mean, when you think about it, though, it's like there are three blue dragons out there. This is a good place to farm, my uh, Um. Anyway, that was the guy. I was trying to see if the things that the totems say are what he says during the fight. But I don't think so. And there's no way unless, you know, you have a character that could could jump up and aggro him at the level like he's like these are level thirty. Um so purple coming out of there it's like why is it so purple it's, like, it's always like that but all right let's go back i should remember if Halle Halle does mention the incidents but i don't think Halle mentions you in relation to it so if you've done the quest i don't think she's a single Hey, remember when you helped me? I don't think she said anything in recognition of Arlea. Who had done it. Ooh. Uh, I certainly watched you. Yeah. What is it? And that, but I suppose it's harmless. Continue. Be careful out there. Thank you. Now to take a closer look at these. Safe travels, my dear. Today is day 41 without finding a harmful artifact. I'm further delighted to report that while you were away, a handful more proved harmless. Perhaps my hunt in winter spring is almost concluded. Come to think of it, you have some magical ability, don't you? Or enough to bravely help me test some more artifacts. Do not be nervous. None of them will permanently hurt you. Artifacts with that with that kind of dangerous power were taken out of were taken care of in my first year here. Test the artifacts bottled spirit, icy book, and lift boot. Be May I assist you, Halle? Oh no, thank you. I have a specific way of doing things. You don't need to trouble yourself. You are a fascinating one. Do not let the magic overwhelm you. Do you take your time, Matori. There are only hundreds more to Thank go. Thank you for your input. We'll try the book. A rather unoriginal and amateur curse. Do not worry, you will defrost shortly. Those souls are beyond my help now. 
but at least they are free. Left boot. Hmm. I suspect we would need the right boot to complete the set. Oh well. Greetings. Uh, did you need something? Seems three out of three were of little magical impact. This is truly great news. Be careful out there. Owl of a sudden. While you were working, I was inspecting the totemic ruins you retrieved. There has always been something odd about the hidden grove. It used to be occupied by a robust population of harmless white hares. Now there are only maddened owlkin and strange totems. Put the pieces together. It's it no masterpiece, but hopefully we can glean a stronger magical effect from the whole. Maybe it'll even make us sprout some feathers and fur. You would think of as a blue dragon, I would enjoy the cold, but no. Test the restored elkin totem. Thank you for your input. Let us test it over there where there is more space. Why not? I am feeling quite optimistic after today's results so far. Halle, I suggest taking greater care with this particular... Not to fret, Sendragosa. It seems that there remains mostly harmless curses and hexes, weakened from time. I may join you in the aisle sooner than I thought. Indeed. Then I shall observe. Yes? What can I do for you? I am Safe ready. travels, my dear. What? Oh, what did I expect? Greetings. Uh, did you need something? Cross, what did I expect? Think why? Oh, why? Can one of these cursed artifacts simply not be cursed for once in my life? Halle, wait. What flight do you hail from? Oh dear, I have... Oh dear, I have an idea. Speak to me when you are ready. Rokosindra goes to the Chira Pale. Thank you for all you have done. What is the plan? There is one place of great warmth in winter spring. Follow the path west, and you will find some delightful steaming hot springs. Meet us there. I understand. It is never ending. Irresponsible magic remains abundant in every nook and cranny, and I have only been in winter spring. You are doing an aspect's breadth of work all on your own. I admire your tenacity. I do not know why I keep getting my hopes up. This place will never be fully cleansed. You said, how many days has it been since the last bad artifact? Forty? Forty-one! I will not rest until it has been one hundred. I am not even halfway there. My dear child, breathe. Let us walk away from this for a moment. I know the perfect place. Yeah, there's a whole quest with these slimes. Back. <laughs> 
way back when. Why are we here? I need to get back to work. You mean to say in all your years here, you have never been to the hot springs? My research indicated they were very well known. Lounging about in hot water? That is a luxury I cannot afford. Not a luxury. A necessity. Champion, go on. Step into the water. Show Halle just how nice it is. So it's introduced that she's Halle. Oh, fine. Self-care. Just for a moment then. <sighs> this is nice. A pleasure. I know just what to do with you. Sometimes she just needs a little taste of the simple things again. Farewell then, young one. It seems I had a good idea. Now let us hope we can broach the subject of the Isles again. I'm glad to see Halle relax. She deserves it. Return to the Azure Archives. I appreciate Halle. Winter spring is better because of you. Now? Your skills are wanted elsewhere. Return to the Azure Archives with us for at least a small amount of time. I promise there are several matters of importance to interest you. I admit I have been in isolation for some time. Your offer is tempting. Change would be nice. Your visit has reminded me that there is an entire world out there. Your mission here is quite respectable. I understand the need to make your home a home once more. Thank you. I will return with you, but know that I will need to decide whether to stay or not, and for how long. But first, a few more minutes in this water. It is quite nice. Don't, don't mind the uh, scalding spring surges. <laughs> All right, so take the portal back. Halle is now here. What is it? You are a fascinating one. We shall have to find Halle a hot spring here too, Sindragos' smiles. Fair skies and strong winds to you. Alright. And... Is Azurgus here now? No, no, no. Lanagosa is here. So, Lanagos has shown up. The blue dragon flight is but a shadow of its former glory. The Azure Arc has started to feel much more lively thanks to your help. Choose which location you'd like to investigate next. Sure. Good luck. I can't select it. How can I help? Accept. All will be well. Okay, I had to accept it. Three more left. Jade Forest, Booty Bay, Theramore. Let's do Theramore. Midi Theramore, then Jade Forest, then Booty Bay. According to Ashgore, Azure Ghost's notes, the Blue Dragon Saragosa was last seen investigating a sect of rogue mages known as the Sully Banner. Saragosa last missus stated that she intended to travel to the ruins of Theramore. Perhaps she has uncovered traces of the Sully Banner there. Either way, if Saragosa is to be found, Theramore seems a 
Theramore seems to be the best place to search for her. Next objectives. Sweet to Caligos about Saragossa's last known location. It's good to see you again. Theramore? I'd rather not return to that place, but if Saragossa is there, then perhaps there is work to be done. Together, we can achieve anything. So long as there's been magic, there have been those willing to utilize it for nefarious ends. I realize I'm doing this as a horde character now. And I'm like, ooh, wait. I did play that side of this. Um, I am not certain what grids these rogue mages hold that has prompted her ghosts to chase him down. But I am inclined to trust her judgment on the matter. Let us go to Hermitory. Perhaps we can solve this rogue mage problem and convince Saragossa to return in a single turn. Find Saragossa to find Saragossa there more. There's Saramore. Of all the places to go, Zurigo said in his notes that he intended to seek out Saragossa himself. If the situation is truly so dire, then I shall accompany you on your way. It would be wise to avoid getting too close until we are apprised of the situation. This portal will take us to the cliffs just beyond Theramore. I had nothing to do with that bomb. Just so you know, I don't actually remember the quest. I may have had a little to do with it, but anyway. <laughs> I think... I forget if Alliance ended up being this far away. <laughs> Should I check out Anixia and see if I can get them out while I'm over here? No, I'm not. I'm gonna try not to get distracted. Um, Zidormi is here to give you back to old Theramore. That's not what we need right now, and everyone would be hostile, hostile if it was old. I see your intuition was correct, Azuragos. Here comes Caligos' mortal now. Hey! Not to be that way about it. Well, if it isn't... you... Oh, this ought to be interesting. Sergos is one of our more enthusiastic succumbers of rogue mages. She's actually quite good at her job. She's the one who sniffed out the Sully banner in the first place, after all. Our dear Aspect, however, seems intent on handling this matter bloodlessly. I suppose that's where you come in, Mortal. Going so soon. Pity. Sarah Ghost is not that big. Greetings, mortal. You and your hangers on have arrived just in time to see me obliterate this pack of miscreant mag magi. Aftershocks. These precarious whelps seem to be trying to recreate the very bomb that leveled Theramore. Predictably, they have yet to succeed. Still, I'd rather not give them the chance to stumble into a more effective solution. Our dear aspect, which is to avoid simply run turning the whole of lot of them into mana dust. Then I suppose I can refrain from carpeting the ruin in Spellfrost. Someone will need to go and repossess their banal attempts at ordinance. Here. Do take care not to set them off, hmm? Teleport eight prototype mana bombs. Where was the fault there are more? I think it's still in the game. I think it is actually part of Kata. No, the Kata Pandaria. 
the part of the end of Kata are... Oh, it's Pandaria. There's magic in everything. It's definitely Pandaria. Um, I have always hoped that mages would once again walk the streets of Theramore. This, however, is not what I had in mind. If the Sully ban if the Sully banner truly intends to reconstruct a working mana bomb, then they must be stopped. But I will not repeat the mistakes Maligos made. There must be a way to reason with them. I shall place an enchantment upon you that will allow you to subdue the mages without killing them. See to it that they that they cannot continue their ill intended actions. Pacify the rogue mages of the Sullied Banner. Fly true. This death ward should blunt your blows and allow you to subdue the mages without killing them. Find us near the docks when you are done. The path of mercy again, Kalegos. I would have thought your encounter with Razagith would have at last relieved you of that impulse. Every time Malagos chose to intervene in the affairs of mortals, mages died. And where has that brought us? I will not perpetuate that cycle of destruction any longer. Is that so? Show us, then. But do not expect us to clean up your mess if this goes wrong. You lead our flight, Caligos. We will do things your way. Let us hope your peaceable solution does not end buried under the corpses of dragons. <sighs> Thank you for your aid, my friend. With your help, we will show them that there is another way. Okie dokie. There is, um, from the Theramore. Mini mana bomb. Toss your mini mana bomb. Um, vendors adore me. Pre launch. Oh, it's actually the pre launch event. All right. It's pre launch, Miss, um, spend area. Um, does that mean people that have not done Pandaria? <laughs> that's about it. That That's the extent of the mini mana bomb toy. I think you... I'm trying to remember... Because no, you have to actually be involved in... Curse you dragons, laugh dog. So... Just show you. area right here is where the tower was um Jaina's tower Jaina was not there Jane got um booted um I don't think I was supposed to get her yet. <laughs> 
So, a magical artifact known as the Focusing Iris was stolen. Um, this doesn't happen in game. I mean, this part doesn't happen in game. I'm talking about um, happens in the, in the Jaina novel. Um, there's a whole big search for it. It culminates in the destruction of Theramore. The destruction of Theramore is in the game. Or at least was in the game. I played through it on a few characters. Um, if I was on Alliance, I would get Zadormi to... As you can see, you're, you're not killing them, at least. Um, if I would get Zadormi to change this area. Me, my friends, the dragons have come. Um... Anyway, the Focusing Arabs is stolen from um, the Nexus. Calicos could try to find it. Uh, and then it was used to You're make soft, a man upon oh. You always have been. These mages are a threat and should be treated as such. They fly the flag of Theramore. These people are grieving. They fear for their lives. I am certain they can be reasoned with. Quiet your steps, mortal. Lest you spook their leader. Well, Shaman, I suppose you are not as hapless as most mortals who cross my path. You may deserve some modicum of recognition for your deft work. And for me, mind you, if you want a pat on the head, go ask Ketagos. I'm overjoyed to see you. Just My, look at the time. Arcane magic has always been well suited to matters of stasis and security. I am pleased that we could put it to such effect here. Still, the question remains. What drove these mages to such reckless action in the first place? All will be well. Jury Flicker Flame. One of the late Ronin's wayward apprentices, wayward apprentices. Sorrow and regret have driven her to uncontrollable lights. Um, Ronin has done a did has done a lot. So it's probably most well known from players as. Um, by actually players of the game, anyone who's done Wrath is um, citizens of Dalaran, raise your eyes to the sky and observe, etc., etc., etc. So he did die during this incident. No spoilers, it's can't happen. Uh, Pandaria happened a while ago, but still, with many of the rank and file. Many of their rank and file captured. It is time to deal with the leader of the so-called Sully Banner. I imagine Caligos wishes to take her to life. I have no such compunctions. But I am not a picky dragon. So as long as we put a stop to her schemes, I care little what happens to her. His plan, though troublesome, seems to have worked so far. thus far. I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, at least for a short while longer. Apprehend Tori Flicker Flame. The leader of the Soli Banner is working nearby. Sirigosa tells me that she is quite powerful. I will accompany you to ensure your safety, but... No, Calicos. The mortal must go alone. Our presence will merely exacerbate the situation. She will feel more threatened. 
We are breaking the cycle, yes? You make a fair point. Very well. We shall remain here, friend. Please stop their leader. Before she does something, she comes to regret. Uh, no need to get at me, huh? Alright. I quickly shot. I do not want this note to slip away from this note. Ah, greetings and whatnot. No help, huh? Fine, I'll help myself. I don't think she's that strong, but still. And I might actually have help. <laughs> if I get there fast enough. <laughs> from another uh Torin. <laughs> oh, you can actually talk to folks. We never really planned to hurt anyone. We just wanted some way to keep us safe. Maybe we went about it the wrong way. I have nothing to say to you. What we did, we did for the memories of those we lost. I'm kind of surprised they're not more hostile towards me as Horde. Master Ronan would never have wanted any of this. We didn't know what else to do. If you truly wish to show us mercy, then please let Tori go. She's only trying to help us find some closure. I'm going to talk to all of them. You probably could have killed me. Those dragons could have killed me, but you didn't. I do not understand, but I'm grateful. We never really planned to hurt him. We just want to. We just want someone to keep us safe. Maybe we went about it the wrong way. Spare me your judgmental gaze. In my shoes, you would have done the same thing. Oh, I wouldn't have. You probably could have. Okay, but you did. So let's go talk to. Here we go. Here. Breaking the cycle. I admit, I did not expect things to go this way. That gnome, no, I'm not just like blame. She has suffered much. It makes sense that she would wish to cultivate her power in order to subvert further tragedies from coming to pass. Caligo says that we must be mediators and protectors, not hoarders of secrets. I'm thinking I'm beginning to understand what he means. I do not understand that you would. I do not understand what would drive Turi Flicker Flame and her band of mages to attempt at what they have done here today. But I do understand the path of losing family, the pain of losing family. I understand the fear and regret that follows you wherever you go. I have much to think about. I imagine Kalikos has much yet to do in the Dragon Isles. Return there with him. I will follow soon. I need some time to think about what happened here today. Thank you for your aid, my friend, and for yours, Suragosa. I do not know where we would be without your hard work. You three should get back to the Isles. I will meet you there. I need to speak with Turi first. I must admit, Caligos, I did not think your plan would work. But you seem to have cleaned things up rather nicely. No, not yet. There is more work to be done. Caligos... Oh, blessed it all. Well, go on then, hero. No doubt you wish to hear what is said in there. As for me, I have other matters to see to, now that this mess has been resolved. Come to laugh at me then? Or maybe just to crush me underfoot? I want to know why you were doing this. Why would you try to recreate something so horrid? What choice did we have? 
We had to protect ourselves. I I couldn't do a thing to stop the first man of bomb, and because of that, Ronin and Kinsey and everyone is gone. You were supposed to protect us. You were supposed to keep things like this from happening, but you didn't. Curry Flicker Flame, yes? I remember you. You were one of Ronin's apprentices. You speak the truth. We tried to protect the Focusing Iris. We tried to protect Theramore and its people. But we failed. Nothing I say can ever bring back the Fallen. There are no words to properly express the regret I feel towards what happened here. But this, we can move forward. Together, Turi. We can be better than those who came before. I just... I just miss them so much. I know. But come. I would hear your thoughts on the future that you want to build for your allies. As one of Ronan's apprentices, I would very much appreciate your insight. Sorry. So it says here, Sir Sir Gosef watches the pair silently. She glances towards you before nodding towards the portal. So. Sir Gosef is a gnome, which is an interesting visage considering. No one here else is going to talk to you, so. You do what Sir Gosa was suggesting, which is, um, take the portal. Now we got more friends. Well met, friend. Suragosa and Yarishikos are hardly the only members of my flight to question my more measured approach to the misuse of magic. I'm glad for their perspectives and their willingness to check my optimism. Still, I hope they come, will come to see things as I do now. Come, we have much yet to do. Good luck. I appreciate your aid so far, Matori. Where would you like to go now? Where would you like to look next? Choose an area to investigate. The missing blue dragons. We only got two left. Come back soon. We're going to Jade Forest. Now, Kira goes son. She also has a part of the book, I think. Yes. Um. I, what I don't know, and what I meant to investigate before I went here, uh, started this quest line is uh if she is actually in this location the jade forest before you do this quest so i gotta remember to check on another character to go there and see um but she's definitely there afterwards but it's actually this is this is this is a cute one um afterwards kirigos has sought a permanent summer in Stranglehorn. Afterwards, what? Reunite with Kalugos' old friend Kirigos of the Jade Forest. Alright. It looks like it. Okay, there we go. Daughter of Malagos and Saragosa. Kirigosa. Uh, another consort. Saragosa. <laughs> Kirigosa survived the turbulent Nexus War that ripped away her life and family. Afterwards, Kirigosa saw a permanent summer in Stranglethorn, finding warmth, but not quite peace. She moved on to Dawn's Blossom, a small village nestled in the Jade Forest. The blue dragonfly would welcome her return. Speak to Kaligos for more information. This world is full of wonder. Kiri, yes. I know where she is. Keep safe. Kirigosa wrote me after leaving Stranglethorn some years ago. 
She said it was beautiful and balmy, but not very quiet. I presume and hope she has found peace in Pandaria. But I am honest with myself. I should not be surprised if she hasn't answered the Isle's call. Yet, we must do our duty and seek her out. If I am doubly honest with myself, I would have any excuse to see her again. Let us take a break from these chilly winds and visit the Jade Forest. Find Kiragosa at the Jade Forest in Pandaria. Fair skies and strong winds. We do take a little world tour on this. <laughs> Hear the bird calls. Oh, you're just gonna follow me? Okay, Calic. I was not sure what was going on. She's entertaining the kids. Here we go, son. Ah, a new visitor. Hello, ghost. Please. Oh, Calic. Oh, it's good to see you. It's been too long. Hello, and welcome to you, too. I am Kirigosa. This is my friend. Oh, I think I know of you. News of your exploits have reached even this humble village. We are honored to have you. I suspect you must have important business here. Somewhat, yes. Have you heard the call of the Isles? The blue flight awaits. Yes. I have heard. Ah, uh, Champion, while we catch up, why don't you take a stroll around the village? There is much to do and see. So when I did this, soon after the patch launch, I couldn't even see the two of them. There were all these people around them. <laughs> so this is, this is preferable. Oh, hello. Um... Though the village is small, we take great pride in our crafts and cherish our relationships with each other. Carp care. Stop by any time. The village carp bring fortune and peace. Their well-being reflects the health of the village. The carp thrive on special food made from worm meal and vegetable paste. It's not as unpleasant as it sounds, especially after we've finished dehydrating it into neat little blocks. Here, just toss it gently into the water near them. The ponds also require cleaning, so... Please skim any debris you find. Feed the carp and clean their ponds of debris and dots blossom. Safe travels to you. Though the village is small, we check okay. Local deliveries. Please take care. I've been cultivating a new flower in this land. It's quite versatile. But the villagers and I are still refining its various uses. I just harvested my latest batch today. Will you help me deliver them? Deliver a wild deliver wild blue yonders. To villages and Dawn Blossom. Saving you certainly took your time to pay me a visit. My duties as Aspect have gotten more time consuming as of late. I'm sorry, Kiri. I should have come sooner. So, this is where you've chosen to settle. Yes, I have a daily routine. I know all the villagers. I even have my own house. A house? I... I see. So I have traveled far to assemble these goods. These are prettier than I could have imagined. Look at the sheen of the velvety petals as if they shimmer with magic. Kirigos' blue magic beautifies our village. For these, I have been looking for a new garnish for my noodle dishes. I think I will keep a few in a vase on as well. Stay focused. 
So uh, Matori did do a lot of uh, Pandaria content. In fact, she probably she did more. She actually got more done than Arlea initially. Slow down. Woo Master Wanderbrew at your service. I travel the Jade Forest in search of only the finest ingredients for my brews. Unlike the highly muddy golden drafts of Dawn's Blossom. They have their big brew house for their mass producing, which is fine, you know, if you enjoy drinking swill. <laughs> these sires are from Kirigosa. Ah, I have been expecting these. This batch of flowers matured well. Look at that bloom. That's it's a color of brew of Hendaren from all that the land will be talking about. Blue beer. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, trying to do this when there were 20 other, like, people in the area, more than 20 other people in the area. It took a lot longer. I liked Miss. No, excuse me. <clears throat> Got a big bunch of fish poop here. And that did it. Alright. They didn't have to be so realistic about fish poop. My sight may be gone, but I am fortunate to live in a land which rewards all the senses. These flowers are from Kiragosa. Kiragosa? Is that you? Oh, you are a friend. So you said you were going to visit me today. Did you bring flowers? When did she tell you that? Old man Miss, Miss Dye holds the flowers close and inhales deeply. Pure contentment washes over his face. I can't see much anymore, but I try to indulge my remaining senses as best I can. And Kiragosa has cultivated something very special. Welcome to a humble home, friend. My goods are crafted with great care. This is an alchemy trainer. <laughs> Ah, fan of potions! The brewmaster's that concoctions well from the sum of the more finer notes to a potion remedy. I just can go right to the flowers. Speaking of fine notes, Kiragosa flowers over yonder are a boon to my craft. 
When crushed with other ingredients, they increase the potency of the final potion. Not to mention how pretty they are. Farewell. <clears throat> It's good to meet you. Hope so. Stop by any time. All done? Thank you. The carp is so pretty, aren't they? The scales shimmer almost like a dragon's. Please, take care. The delivery is wonderful, by the way. If you like the flowers, I would love to give you a bunch for my next harvest. Safe travels to you. Honest work for an honest day. Thanks, Victoria. Why don't we have some tea and conversation at my home? Just tell me when you're ready. Fly with Kiragosa to her home. Stop by any time. I'm ready to visit your home. You can give me a lift. Yep, she's giving me a lift. Leaving me behind? Well, I suppose I am a dragon after all. Look around you. Can you see why I fell in love with Pandaria? It's beautiful. Better than frost and snow. <laughs> Keep up, Calicos. Let the warm winds take you. <laughs> that boy still has it, doesn't he? Where are we going? My home. It's a little tiny home. She's as big as her home. <laughs> My home. Okay, I think you better change back because she's not going to fit. Ah, don't stand on me. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Let's to you yeah this this her home um her home you couldn't even see them I couldn't even target them oh hello here we are Stop by any time. <laughs> 20,000 flight stones. I believe it. I thought I had that already. I stand with you. How strange and wonderful it is to be in Kiri's own home. That being said, I can't help but notice it's an absolute mess in here. Hey, that's rude. <laughs> she spends all this time helping with the villagers. I have a feeling that she doesn't reserve time for herself. Typical Kiri. Would you mind tidying this place up for a bit, Matori? I'm sure she'd be glad for the help. Together, Aren't you a Alicus, mage? Your return stirs my heart and my memories. The call of the Isles is strong, believe me. If it is true what you say, that the Blues are united once more, that is more than I could have ever hoped for. It's true. At the end of the day, you are a blue dragon, Kiri. You belong with us. This place is so unlike home, and yet I have never felt so at home in such a long time. I've remade my family here. If I had a choice, I would never leave them. Kiri, I apologize. You do have a choice. I shouldn't push you. Why don't we give you some space to think it over? Oh, thank you for understanding. If you would like some respite, I recommend the Drunken Hosen in town. No, oh, there's someone else here. Okay. How can I help? Oh, did you finish? Thank you very much. I can tell Kiri appreciates you. I will need some time to think and make my decision. Please, stay a while and enjoy the view. I will find you both shortly. Drink with Caligos. 
Caligus was quiet for a moment, a wistful look on his face. And I'd call on Norma, no Stormer to help us pass the time, but he'd tell me that I should be able to handle this. So the drunken hosen! If Kiri recommends it, then let us go. Have a drink with Caligus, the drunken hosen. Can you go get a drink? Okay. The, the drunken hosen? Well, sounds excellent. Meet you there. A teeny tiny house for a dragon. Let's just say that much. Also, this thing is crooked and you didn't have me straighten it out. But also, Caligos, listen. You don't walk into someone's home and say it's a mess, go clean it up for her. What is up with that? That's so rude. Not that I wouldn't mind, you know, someone just coming in and cleaning up my house, but I would be kind of, you know, a little upset by that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, I'd also be appreciative of it because this means I don't have to clean it up. But on the other hand, you know, if someone just starts cleaning up your house, and go, your house is a mess, I'm going to clean it up. It's, 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 it's kind of a mixed thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, drunken hose and here we come. Yeah, this is crowded too. Um, over here, friend. Well, we're all gonna have a drink together. I'm glad you've come. Page of Golden Draft recommended the perfect brew for camar camaraderie. Hot barley tea. Please have some tea. Fly true. We're in the drunken hosen. Ugh. Hey, G Golden Draft, listen. <laughs> Tell me Tea. Your troubles. The Pandriarchs. Nothing's gets anything different. Uh, so Pandriarchs, bless my future son-in-law, thanks to you. I guess this means I forget what I did. Um, it means the Wander Brew and the Golden Draft feud will have to go on hold. Don't tell anyone this, but I'm sort of grateful to you for that. So many years of hate, just, just exhausting. We're, we too, we are too set in our ways, though. And it would be something or someone to help us uh, see us past our differences. So I apparently helped them out at some point, but I don't actually remember the quest. But cool! They like me here. They know who I am. Do you have anything stronger than what freaking Caligos is going to make me drink? But <laughs> it really matters, but they've got a whole array of interesting. Next on me. All right, Caligos. Caligos doesn't want to drink alcohol apparently, uh. So I guess we'll be drinking this non-alcoholic beverage, barley tea. I'm happy for Kiri. She deserves this and so much more. She spent her entire life dedicated to the Blue Dragon Flight, even after loss. <laughs> After loss, after events I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy, nothing more can be taken from her. We will try to give her the world in the Isles. Cheers, friend. May the blue dragons thrive. Tea, Calic? Cheers, I guess. Before I don't finish that, I'm going to go upstairs. The drunken hosen um, is is a nice little. Uh, they've got some tables upstairs. We can play some games. That's name the game offhand. Nice little outdoor area. It's drunken hosen's. It's a good place. It's a good spot. I'd go there. I'd get a proper drink. Barley tea. Calic. But okay. Camaraderie. How can I help? This respite was much needed. Ah, uh, there you are. I'm curious here. I wonder if she's made a decision. Please ask her for her thoughts, Midori. Speak to Kiragosa and then return to the Azure Archives. Come back soon. Ah, a new visitor. I cannot express how happy I am today after spending time with you both. But about the matter you've come for, 
Kiriko still smiles sadly. Will you return to the Dragon Isles with us? Please, take care. This is difficult for me to say. I, I cannot return to the Isles. Not now. Not for a while. It is just this place. These people. I, I've found... For the first time in a long time, I have agency in my own life. You know, you'd love these folk called the Tuscar. I learned a valuable lesson from them recently. Wherever we may be, wherever we may go, family will always be family. And they gave you soup. Well yeah. met, friend. Let me talk Good about luck. Them. Okay. Safe travels to you. I wish the outcome were different. But if Kiri is truly happy here, then I couldn't possibly ask for anything more. Thank you for coming with me. It's time we return to the archives. I'm ready to return to the archives. Oh, thank you. A hug. <laughs> oh, our characters can do that. <laughs> Together, we can achieve anything. Yeah, but bye, Kelly. Um, it's good to meet you. So I guess she'll go back. Bye, Kiri. I like Kiri, and I'm glad that she got to make her own choice. Meanwhile, back at the archives. I am the oldest okay. of my So we have kind. one left. Let's get back to work. Come back soon. We've only one more blue dragon to locate in Elmatory. Let's finish this, shall we? Choose an area to investigate the missing blue dragon. There's only one well. left. Booty Bay. Save Zeros, a blue dragon deep in debt in Booty Bay. Booty Bay, land of pirates, swindlers, and raiders. Zeros, once a captive wealthy, has built a mighty reputation as an auction house trader in one of the most cutthroat places on Azeroth. However, his recent investment blunder made the front page of the Booty Bay Journal. Rescue him before his debt is collected by the Baron. Speak to Senegos for more information. Come closer, little one. You think I know you think, are not you think I know anything about Booty Bay? Why yes I do. The dragon flights will rise again. The blue dragon the Booty Bay Journal. is but a shadow of its form. You will not believe glory. who I read about today in the Booty Bay Journal. What is that looking, Tori? I too enjoy light reading about world affairs. Booty Bay is fascinating. Regardless, I read about Xerox. He was once the captive of an evil mage who hated all blue dragons. He seemed to have found his, his own way in the world since his rescue. A bit of advice for you. Debt is a foolish thing to be in. Doe and I know it. Where was I? Here. Especially to the Baron. We said I don't have that problem. Let's retrieve them before the sharks do. Quest objectives. Speak to Senegos to temporarily neutralize your standing with Boot Booty Bay. I've heard some fascinating things about Booty Bay. If any history there with goblins or otherwise, we had best cover it up. It will make our rescue mission easier. I guess it, this also helps in reverse if you're hostile towards them. Help me neutralize my reputation of you, base. Get started. Behind me, my friend. We may use this portal to go to Booty Bay. If you wish, you can read about Zeros in the Booty Bay Journal. We may totally the are. wisdom of the Titan. There's magic in everything. Shall we move home to the... I see a 
this suitcase there. We are totally going to read about their skies and strong winds. The book glows with blue magic. The current page is emblazoned with a news header titled Booty Bay Journal. Next page. Crystal Schmitzels. Don't fall for this scam. A report by anonymous contributor. Magical blue crystals. They certainly exist, but not in Booty Bay. After a thorough examination, I formally declare these crystals to be as worth worthy as reused glass. All crystals have been taken off the local auction house so that the credibility of our sellers may be preserved. Though it may be too late for zeros. The, pro the primary seller of <laughs> those... I feel like reading this like an old time in news wise. Crystal Schmistles. Don't fall for this scam. A report by anonymous contributor. Magical blue crystals? They certainly exist, but not in Booty Bay. After a thorough examination, I formally declare these crystals to be as worthy as reused less. All crystals have been taken off the local auction house so that the credibility of our sellers may be preserved. Although it may be too late for zeros, the primary seller of these crystals. You'll have to believe me when I say that a trusted source told me Zeros took a loan from the Baron himself for this investment. Let's hope that Zeros is the first and last victim of this scam. Turn to the first page. Flip to a random page. Page fills of blue inky swirls. But a pleasant mage today had quite the magical potential. I would have offered to mentor her if times were different. She's very energetic, and Emma Gosa particularly favored her present. Emma Gosa. Emma Gosa. <laughs> Emma Gosa. We had a very successful encounter against the Withered. The mage left us shortly. Oh. We had a very successful encounter against the Wither. The mage left us shortly after. She looked particularly troubled any time we were fighting the Wither. It was as though there were more than just pity there. As if she felt she could have been one of them. For her magical upbringing less fortunate. So this is referring to events in the Broken Isles. The Withered were, um, Nightborn. Who uh, had lost touch with the Nightborn. Similar to the um, Wretched, which the Blood Elves became when they had lost contact with- they start to starve from uh, lack of magic. Look to a random page further in the tome. The page fills with blue ink- let's just assume they're all going to fill blue inky swirls. I am uncertain I will see the light of day tomorrow. I accepted this, and I'm saying my goodbyes. The Withered are motivated by something far stronger. The primal that anyone could have imagined. Their hunger is a force to be reckoned with. I never did get to the Dragon House again. This is Seneca's. For you, Runus, the journal entry for today is just for you. Thank you. Now, if you've played Legion, you know who Remus is. Yeah, that one. Flip to a random page further in the top. Well, this is awkward. I seem to have survived every moment in which I predicted certain death. I've been trying to reach out to Calico, so a new aspect. None of my calls have been returned. I understand he is needed everywhere, but surely he values the wisdom of one such as myself. Alas, he is young and perpetually busy, like all the rest of them. When you have my years, you remember what really matters far more frequently. Perhaps I'll try to call him again tonight. The two are a page for another time. Well, it certainly has been a turbulent few years, and so not, yet here I am. Back in the Dragon Isles, it has changed. It's still changing. It is home. 
I know it in my bones. Let us see what adventures await me until the very end. Let me turn to the first page. So. I wish you could kind of take this journal, but then I know exactly what would happen is it'd sit in my bags forever and ever and ever because there's no library in this game. And, and, and all the books I've saved over all the years are still in my lun are still in my bags and bank. Anyway, I really wish they would add that at some point. Let's go to Pudu Bay. Baron, you must believe me. I don't care about the truth. Only the weight of gold in my hands. If I'm not repaid in full soon, we'll balance the scales with your own. Zeros. I want that rapier. <laughs> I want the rapier for a mod. That's wicked. All right, Zeros. W what do you want? Oh, uh, hello there, stranger. I gotta look up who's the voice actor for Zeros. It sounds very familiar. Whatever you need. Get your hands off me. Oh, wait a minute. You're not from around here. Now, get to work, Zeros. If you try to run, we'll find you and clip your wings. Hmm. I might have liked this place when I was young. Ugh. Wait. Senegos? What are you doing all the way out here? Haven't you heard the call, young one? I am here to bring you to the Dragon Isles. Ah, yes. Well, things being what they are. Uh, well, look who just Senna goes to. Uh, look, believe it or not, I'd be in the Isles already if it wasn't for unfinished business. Recent events have not been kind to me. I owe the Baron, and nobody owes that was the Baron for long. Who will absolutely find and skin me if I don't pay up. I invested his money in these magic crystals. But the price... The price just crashed on the market because of the front page rip in the Booty Bay Journal. And the shipment of crystals is missing. Someone must be plotting my demise. Perhaps a good stitch will help me. Fine. Blizzard good stitch in Tanya Hide Leatherworks in Booty Bay. Good to see you! Out with it, Zeros. Have you gotten yourself in trouble? That goblin didn't seem to care much for you. Why didn't you simply eat him? He's the Baron! And you are a blue dragon. Albeit a young one. Shh! I took on a more mature visage form to do business. Please don't blow my cover. Besides, and I don't like violence. I deal in gold, not blood. Everyone is your friend here. Until you're broke and need their time. Let's hope I've made at least one real friend all these years. I, I, I like believe it. you may handle this, my friend. Zeros seems to know what to do. So interesting. The short nap calls oh. my name. You know where to find me. Do I? N no, I don't know where to find you, Cynicus. Anyway, um, in your napping spot that you never told me about. So, um. It's just like, I, I find it, I, I'm amused by the fact that Seneca's like, why didn't you just eat him? You're a dragon. They don't mention that sometimes dragons do eat non-dragons. Sentient creatures, it does, but it's been known to happen from time to time. So, here's where I get lost in Booty Bay again. It will happen without fail every time I have to find something in one of these freaking rooms. I didn't see where uh, he ran. Uh, you're oh. really not going to help a friend in need? I might be dead tomorrow, you know. I always love this room with this dude's been throwing daggers into this painting. I don't, I don't know why. W what do you want? I shouldn't be surprised that no one will help me for free. That's Bazooka's price. So long, friend. 
Got the best deals anywhere. Information is king. I'm the best deal of the goods in town. Be good. Information ain't cheap. And everyone zeros should know that best. People have sighted dangerous crocolis around Jadero's point. You know what I see? Money, money, money. Get me their precious skins and maybe I'll remember something important about those crystal zeros is after. That's too dangerous for your cup of tea. That's too dangerous for your cup of tea. I might be open to other forms of payment too. You know, the most common form. Lizard folds his arms and waits expectantly. Collect three cockless skin, crocolis skins to Janeiro's point. Or give Lizrax good stitch. Or give gold. See. You'll receive. Okay. Glad I could help. Make an offer of a thousand gold. I've had this choice before. And I was like, I don't feel like the crocolisks. I think I just want to give a thousand gold. <laughs> On another character, I might do the crocolisk. But I, in this case, I'm like, I, I, I've got gold. I can handle this. It's fine. Double and nothing. 2,000 gold. Attempt to haggle. Triple it is. Never mind. Oh, no, yeah. He goes right up to 3,000. Do you know how to count? Or are you just trying to scam me? I said three skins and no less. I, I gave him absolutely none. Maybe I will do the crocodile skins. But I kind of also want to finish up this quest now. Um, as much as I love this quest. I'll return with what you need. 3,000 gold. I'm not giving you three. I got gold, but I forgot about... I forgot about that he gets... Uh, Probably level 70 Crocolis, I bet. Yep. I don't know how many of these I gotta kill, but... <laughs> He's still over there stomping around the island. I mean, honestly. Hey, they dropped right away. Can I remember how to get back? Yes, it's here. I got what you need. Oh hell, you don't even offer the Thanks, pal! Hot market for these skins, huh? <laughs> Unlike some other things. Prospectorati was the anonymous contributor to the BBJ's front page. Last I heard, he's inspecting the Venture Co. oil rigs. Hmm, huh. interesting. Have a good one. Hmm, this will do. Glad I could help. Whatever you need. A scoundrel. Anyway, started bribing. A scoundrel. I had to deal with Artie to market the crystals in the paper. I sent them. Someone must have cut a big a deal with them. Artie routinely inspects the venture company's working area at the shore. He's always bringing his own gods. But no one is immune to gold in Booty Bay. Take my last bit of gold. Go to the oil rig and bribe the guards. Look the other way before you confront... To look the other way before you confront Artie. 
Use the gold to bribe Hardy's hired bodyguards and then confront Prospector Arn in the Wild Shore. I'll be here! Thanks, Blexrez. Come on, friend. I'll be hiding up in the cliffs overlooking the bay. <laughs> Please hurry. Um... One thing that I do like about these... They do, they, uh, there's been, there's a lot, I don't, I don't know if I'm just noticing it more or what, but. There's definitely more time spent, like, visiting old locations, you know, in this expansion. You think that's enough to pay me off? Oh. your gold, but I'm not giving up my contract. Ooh, this is triple what Artie paid me. You're the boss now. Is this a bribe? <laughs> Consider me bribed. Sure, sure. Place is all yours. <laughs> oh, thanks. Time to turn you in now. Day to you. Just as a standard human voice. Good day to you. I'm about to kill you, I think. Lucrative mining, or maybe another five, seven years. Ari lowers his quill and looks up. Coming down. Who are you? You don't look you're supposed to be here. Demand information about Sirius' crystals. What? How dare you? Guards. Guards! <sighs> Hardy puffs and looks around the emptier than usual area around him. Oh, I understand. Look, don't hurt me. No man of gold is worth losing teeth over. New pirates in town pay me to devalue the crystals in the Booty Bay Journal. Their captain didn't seem to fancy zeros making all this profit. Captain's name? Grub Red Redcut. Now, I do believe this ship is still hanging around in the southern coast. Go on, I have important work to finish. We only want our adventure company. Yeah, I know well. I've See had dealings around. with them in the past. Pirates. Okay, let's go back to zeros. Stranger. Of course. We know where to go next. Good to see you. The Baron will never let, will never find me up here, right? Zeros looks around nervously. I'm sure thank you. You are truly saving my neck here. By the way, is Nina still with you? I didn't mean to offend him earlier. In the situation when you both arrive, I'm normally a lot more respectful than that. Especially to the most respectable of blues. I can't believe he personally came all this way just for me. Money, money, money. So long, friend. Web Redcut and his crew are notorious for their love of money. They'll do anything for it. I assume there's treasure to be had on his own ship. But just in case there isn't, there must be gold within their pockets. Will you do me the dirty business of collecting it? I won't question your negotiation tactics. Just don't kill them. 
I'm not trying to start a serious blood food feed today. Collect 1,500 gold from Grub Red Conspirates in the Southern South Coast. I'll be here. Crystal Schmistel. Good to see you. Grub Red Cut Zero Spits. Sore crusty loser. He thinks he's all tough because he's big and buff. He hates that someone like me can make more money than him. Believe it or not, I play the auction house fairly. I'm a saint compared to him. So Grub sold my crystals, eh? And then paid already to lie about them so no one would go looking for them. Fine plan. Grub must have must have something valuable on that ship of his. Well, we're gonna go take it. Search the ship thoroughly. Retrieve Grub Redcoat's treasure from his ship and the southern savage coast. So long, friend. I like how little Emma goes to still follow with me. It's gonna be a late night. You're not one of us. I think all these are voice acted. May Tentalos devour you. Who's Tentalos? <laughs> Tide Sage. I wonder. Oh wait, was it not supposed to kill them? they've added extra voice acting for this press line? Like the enemies have extra lines? The great sea. Take me. This is our ship now. May Tentalos devour you. Must be where it is. Hello. A single gold ingot. You gotta kill a lot. Of I'm so big, I can't see. I'm going downstairs. Probably shouldn't have left the uh the uh Pally. May Tentalos devour you. This is a new ship now. This is a new pirate group. One of us. Got the blood cells. May Tentalos devour you. So I'm wondering. I'm curious because you're not one of us. Yes, and no pirates in the next expansion, but I can't help but it's not gonna be any pirates at all. It's always pirates. There's no pirates in this expansion. Guess what? There's lots of pirates in this expansion. Throw them overboard! Go back topside. There's probably more there have spawned by now. 
I'm very close to having you back to up where the hell the stairs. Where am I going? Oh, let's go upstairs. So what I don't recall is if um, the uh... you're not one of us. If the Tide Sages in BFA had that dialogue, and if, the new stuff, if they had new, because those goblins I could swear had new dialogue. And I think these ones did too. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, mm. Now it's credit all of a sudden. Oh. East Eastern Kingdoms racing. Your time is up, That's... Zeros. Did you think you could just fly away? Keep your nose clean in my town. Whatever you need. Y you return just in time. Do you have what I need? I'll it's be here. Jesus. Please hurry. The Baron wasn't kidding about my scales. I'm a dragon, as you know. My my scales are worth quite a lot. Good to see you. Let's you bring back fights. Let's see. So long, friend. It's high time those pirates sword and they can't terrorize it. anyone they please. I'll be here. Oh my gold. That looks like a hefty sum. Good to see you. Ha. I would have found a skin dragon on your hands. A minute later Ha, you have returned just in time. A minute later and you might have found a skin dragon on your hands. Give him the treasure quickly. Give the treasure to Baron Rebel Gus. So long, friend. I have the payment! Here. Well met, traveler. There's opportunity to be had here if you're clever enough. Ah, but that's not good enough, is it? Like you owe me a lot mm. more. Bruises, give me his scales. You shall leave him intact, Baron. He paid his debt. It is now my turn to do business. <laughs> oh, uh, hello there, stranger. Cynegos, you saved my life. Good to. What amusing creatures. That was quite the entrance. I am old, and therefore have lots of tricks, young one. I love Cynegos. It seems your business is concluded here. Will you return with us? We do need you, Zeros. Uh, I suppose I am now in your debt. Let's go. I hope the Isles are as magical as the rumors say. W what do you want? Can't always count on good luck. Gotta be fast friends with bad luck. <laughs> so long, friend. I do hope that is the last we see of Baron, of the Baron. Truth be told, I respect his seat of power in Stranglethorn. We were lucky to find Zero still alive. He must have developed quite the positive relationship with the Baron before all this nonsense, or else he would not have been given so much time. <laughs> Let us return to the archives. Return to the archives. The dragon fights will rise again. So that was the last one. There's a few more things. So now we have... They're still here. It's 
Two zeros. I believe we can help each other. Remind the spin from this mission, Dory. Let me rest a while. There is great power within you. Use it wisely. I stand with you. I see you, Matori. All the blue dragons are accounted for. We can back to caring for Azeroth's magic and making sure its power isn't abused. I believe a speech is in order. I'd be honored if you would stay for it. We can head to the Nexus afterwards to see that see what Azeroth has discovered about Syndragosa and Malagosa's arcane memories. Listen to Caligosa's speech. Keep safe. I am ready to hear a speech to the Blue Dragons. It is good to see all of you here. I once believed that our flight was better off in pieces. Each dragon pursuing their own interests. I was wrong. The Blue Dragons work best when we are a family. When we are united. Together, we... Caligos, I need aid at the Veiled Ossuary. The memories of Syndragosa and Maligos are destroying this place. I see. Friends, I'm sorry to ask you this so suddenly, but it seems we have need of your aid already. This world is full of wonder. It appears this was a sharp reunion. Together, we can achieve anything. I was hoping they would find a way to dispel these strange arcane memories from what remains of Malagos and Sintragosa. It appears they've grown more out of control than I expected. Please accompany some of the gathered blue dragons to the Veiled Oswe to help Azurgos. Sintragosa and I will remain here, investigate what to do about the situation. Investigate the dis arcane disturbances within the Veiled Oswe. Do I get a fork? Good luck. I'll get you a portal to Azure Ghost's location Thank in the you. Veiled Ossuary. Do what you can to aid him and uncover the source of this disturbance. I will stay here to monitor the situation with the others and speak to Senegos on a matter concerning his brood. It should only be a moment of your time, Caligos. Stellagosa, Emagosa, you will want to be here as well. Of course, Grandfather. Whatever you need. I'm glad you've come. Fly true. There's there's a little conversation going on. Good. You're all here. I need as many of you as possible to drain the arcana coming out of this tomb. Well, if it isn't you. I suppose this is that teamwork Caligos has been talking about. Perhaps this is useful after all. Going so soon. Valdos for chaos. Maligos and Sintragos's lingering essences are screaming for rest. We need to find a way to give it to them. Do take care out there. Maligus and Syndragosis essences have created this massive arcane disruption. Their memories are running around the Veiled Ossuary trying to drain the arcana out of the graves. Our combined efforts are merely keeping the energies at bay. We need the memories in the nearby areas disrupted. Once they are dispelled, we should be able to remove the, this barrier to reach the essences inside. Weaken the arcane invaders' control over the veiled ossuary. Ossuary. I'm getting so tired. At the memories time. of old. 
do take care out there. Three incredibly powerful memories have formed throughout the Veiled Ossuary. Soon their energies will be so vast that they will be able to create their own arcane construct constructs. Those overwhelming displays. Take them down so it may weaken the barrier and reach Maligos and Syndragos' essences. Slay three powerful memories within the Veiled Ossuary. Except My, look at the time. Oh, what am I doing now? I'm overjoyed to see you. Going so soon. Joy, what fun. So it's having a gathering arcane energy from the air. Now I'm back in the dragon house, so I can use dragon riding again. <laughs> the going back and forth is brutal. I didn't even realize there was a cave up here. Memory of a loyalist. How do I even get to them? Memory of a defender.
like the explode the arcane explosion afterwards is just like insult. to find the ones that are actually marked on here. There is nothing higher up. Don't know where this one is. Where is earth is this one? Maybe in here. Ah! Oh. Let's just go right into Neltharian. Alright. What is it? Go so you long suspected my motivations. You were too weak to stand against me. That's a, that's the demon. That memory of the dragon soul. I mean, so you figure we had to fight him. We have to fight. Arthas and the uh, well, that part's complete. Oh yeah, I sense your anger, your thirst for vengeance. Rise, Cinder Ghost of the Demon. you, Arcus. Excuse me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really late right now. I'm gonna be so tired.
Fine. Make me do it. I need to get out of the way because it's probably going to respawn any second. I'd rather not fight him twice. So yeah, so if you thought that wave your hand, wave your weapon a couple of times and it'll go away thing was it's gonna happen, didn't. <laughs> nope. You did have to fight them at some point. I mean, honestly, it's pretty easy compared to how they... Trust is fighting sounds. All right, I think we got them. Okay, sure it is. Well, if it isn't you. Malagus and Citragus is lingering essence is a screaming for rest. We need to find a way to get to them. My look at the The bear is getting weaker. Fine work. Do take care out there. The chaos in the area is weakening. Tell me. Members do you see. Going so soon. Excellent. The barrier is weakening thanks to your aid. In a moment, it will be broken down. Our main priority is recovering Malagos and Shinogos' essences. Something must have gone very wrong with laying them to rest. There are a few theories I have regarding their current state. We can speak about it as we enter. Let me know when you are ready. Go beyond the arcane barrier to recover Malagos and Shinogos' essences. Do take care out there. Malagos is okay. I'm ready to go beyond the arcade. Sintracosa and Maligo should be at rest. Yet their anger is growing larger by the moment. Maybe they want things settled. Didn't they both die very violently? Like the spirits of Crystal Song Forest. Sindragosa and Maligos are stranded in their final moments of death. And now, they are reliving those final moments of their lives in an endless loop. Perhaps all of this chaos was their only way of getting our attention. Wildly lashing out, hoping someone would hear them. Well, we certainly hear them, and we are going to help. Champion, recover their essences. We are taking them back to the Azure Archives. Best items. I'm like, are they legendaries? Do I get to hold on to them forever and ever and ever? No. That would be rude. Okay, I should go. S My, look at the time. It seems the blue dragons c still cannot leave behind their legacy. 
Continue. Going so soon. Pity. I think that a merciful gesture, gesture could turn like this. I suppose we underestimate the rage still within Sindragosa and Managus. My, look at the time. I can hear the pain cries of rage and agony from these essences. I suspect this was triggered after attempting to put them in rest. They were dormant for a time, but the combined rage of both Malagos and Sindragos has merged together to create this phenomenon. Quickly, we must make the Azure Archives and inform Caligos and Sindragos of this. Together, we may be able to finally give them the peace they deserve. Meet Caligos back within the Azure Archives. Do quickly, everyone. Perhaps Caligos and Sindragosa know what must be done next. If <laughs> she just like fades off, at least they left the portal behind. Thank you, Ashuragos and everyone. I believe we may have an answer to this. Indeed. How strange to see what remains of my essence in life. I can hear her cries calling out to me. I am the oldest of my kind. It is time for a nap. So much yet to be done. I'm glad you've recovered this since the center goes so well goes. I never imagined trying to place the spirits of us would lead to this. Good luck. I have a plan of how to address this matter, though it is a rather dangerous one. What flight do you hail from? Malagos and myself both suffered horribly violent ends. The remains of our essences have been trapped in the end of They must be reformed and broken out of that loop. To do so would require a tremendous amount of concentrated power. We will have to utilize every amount of work and energy within the Azure Archives, along with the Assembled Blue Dragons. This is the only chance we have to reform the spirits and to put an end to their suffering. To do the rest of spirits of Malagos and Sindragosa within the Azure Vault, we will receive more flight stones and gold. We will meet again. I am ready to enter the Azure Archives to free Malagos and Sindragosa. Thank you for all you have done. Alec, what's your tail? <laughs> like, for real, my dudes. Okay. Um, so, I mean, that's that's kind of cool to zoom in to the basement of uh, Azure Archives. Um, all the blues together helping to to work on putting their uh, putting Cindergosa and Malagos to rest. Looks like I gotta speak to Malagos. Not Caligos. Calig, how are you doing, Calig? Don't step on me. Thank you. I'm glad you've come. Give the word and I shall channel the energy you've gathered to release Indragosa and Malagos. We'll be in for a fight. I'll hold off one of them while you handle the other. I, I'm ready, I think. Blue dragons, focus your energies now with mine. We must break Sindragosa and Malagos free of this curse! What? Where am I? Malagos!
Dose. You abandoned me. You and your mortal kind. You'll all pay for this. The mortals are the ones who shall pay for daring to usurp the power of the blue dragons. Okay, so I have to defeat Syndragosa. I'll handle Malagos. You take Syndragosa. You have the full might of the Azure Archives behind you, champion. God. Oh, I know this. There must be something left of me in there. She's holding herself back? I cannot contain it. Please, free me from this eternal torment! Meanwhile, she could sick. Um, Kelly is fighting Malagos at the You might miss that part of the equation. I'm supposed to hide behind those, I think. Whoops. That wasn't good. I don't remember being this hard. I should have stopped Neltharion when I first suspected his motives. I am so... Sorry it has come to this. I... I should have... stopped him. The fight is over, Malagos. Come to your senses and be free. Never. I cannot... give...
It's good to see you again. Together, we can achieve anything. Malagos? Is it truly you? My treasure. What happened? I believe I hold the answer to that. Oh, I see. My dear, dear Caligos. Aspect of the blue dragonflight. I remember you. I am so sorry, Caligos. My burden should not be yours to bear. You did not leave a burden. You left a brilliant legacy. One I and our flight will carry onward. It seems they are in good hands. Together. Always. You have come so far, my child. My work is done. For now. Thank you, Caligos. Lead them well. Thank you, my lady. For everything. I do hope we get to see her again, because I really do like... I do really like them. <laughs> well, they're all dragons now. Halle. Halle's a dragon. Professor. They're all in dragon form. Mubi was already. So sad. There it goes. Emma goes sad. Stella goes sad. Okay. I'm taking a deep breath now. I've been waiting for this moment for quite a long time. The blue dragons are together again. Cinder goes to Melagos' legacies have been put to rest. And my children's children can once again experience the beauty of the dragon eyes. It's time for me to rest, Midori. There are many dragons waiting for me, and many who have sorely missed every day of this long life of mine. I really like Sidney Ghost. This is gonna hurt like it does every time. Like it did last time. Well met, friend. Malagos and Sidney Ghost's spirits would finally rest. Thank you once more for all of your inventory. There is one last thing that must be done. Together, we can achieve anything. Yep. Yep. exactly what you think. Come closer, a peaceful prayer. My eyes are not what they it brightens my heart to see everyone reunited, and Mother Ghost and Cinder Ghost of peace at long last. It is time I give you all one last gift, something the blue dragons have not seen in quite some time. The peaceful passing of one of their own. It is my time, Majori. 
I should have flown beyond some time ago, but I could not leave with my kin still in disarray. Would you do an old dragon the honor of seeing me off one last adventure? Speak with Xenagos one last time. Been weak for this moment for quite a long time. To get against the Dugus, let's rest. And my children, this is what you said before. You have a choice! Goodbye, Senegos, or you don't have to go, Senegos. I can figure out a way to save you. I am going to select that. <sighs> I'm sure you could find some ancient artifact that would grant me another thousand years or reverse my age. I know, because I found several. How do you think I lasted this long? I made a promise to my daughter, Stilagos' mother, and she was killed. I told her I would look after Stilagosa and the others until our flight was renewed. There are many things I've done to artificially extend my life. I should have passed some time ago, but I could not leave my brood alone. There is nothing I need to be saved from, Dory. I'm gonna spend my time for a while. I finally get to rest and exit. Grandfather? as full as mine should be celebrated, not mourned. It is up to you to lead the Azure Wing now. You cannot go. I am not ready. <laughs> we rarely are, my dear Starlight. Carry my lessons close to your heart. And I will never be far from you. Totally fine. How can I help? A peaceful farewell, 
said Nicholas, with a tremendous good piece given to us all. Thank you, Matari. I don't know if I could have united the blue dragons without you. But for that, I will forever be grateful. It's time for me to lead everyone forward. Oh. It is hard to believe he's really gone. What did we do now? We strengthen the bonds of our flight that remain by celebrating those who came before. Senegos, Sendragosa, Malagos. All those we've lost. You are all welcome to stay in the archives for as long as you need. This is our new home. I suppose it is a bit bigger than the Nexus. The vaults seem to have more knowledge that I haven't recorded yet. I can help you look after the Nexus if you want to start to come here. <laughs> Me too! I bet you old Malagos had a few ideas on how to play the market back in his day. Let us just... Make sure someone always accompanies Zeros to the Nexus. As Juragos, I shall join you in studying the vaults. I have a few things I am curious about. I suppose company in my studies would be a change of pace. I will be here whenever any of you have need of me. So, this popped up immediately after, uh, This is a Terragos uh, Tori, hold a moment. Before you leave, I have one more thing that needs to be done. There's one last member of my kin that deserves rest. Speak with Caligos about Terragos. I have learned much in this short time on the Isles, friend. And there is something I must do. My sister. You are not forgotten to me. You never will be. But you deserve more than an eternity alone. Oh. So there's a whisper. Can I, my friend, tell him no. It can wait. Terragosa's sacrifice something was something which myself. involved us both. I would be honored if you helped me send her to rest. The Sepulchre sent to rest. It is something I want. I must say myself. Okay. I'm glad you've come. Quest, remind me of what happened to Terragosa. Fair skies and strong winds. Terragosa was destined for greatness, but destiny was not kind to her. After the Cataclysm, we were betrayed by one of our own. He chose to serve Deathwing. My sister threw herself in front of an attack meant for me, and suffered a mortal wound in the process. To prolong her time on Azeroth, we bound her soul to a staff. One that you now have in your possession. This world is full of wonder. Turkus is rest. Come back soon. This feels as if I was saying goodbye to a piece of myself. It must be done. Keep safe. 
The Azure Archives will be the new home of the Blue Dragon Flight. Thanks, your aid. See you, love. Good luck. Alongside a proper conduit, tells Taragos' soul during a ritual, we need enough magical essence to ground the flower. The bronze dragonfly was involved in creating the staff you hold. So I believe it if I still use that magic again. Some of the sand within the temple complex should suit this purpose per perfectly. Just make sure it's a the more magical variety. Gather ephemeral sand in the temple complex. Together, we can achieve anything. You get her not. The staff was made with the bow of the world tree. So the receptacle that the soul is transferred to needs to be comfortable. Within the adverse conditions of Raptos, there may be a flower that is tenacious enough to grow. However, it will be fragile given the circumstances. Find it and then bring it to one of the green dragon floods grows to help strengthen it. Collect a mana heart flower and bring it to the ancient moon to blossom. Fly true. Okay. Well met, friend. I didn't expect it to go and strong this long, winds. but alright. Let's, let's go for it. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, Vractos is the big. This is Vactros. This here. There are elites there, I'm preparing. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm having no problem with. Oh, great. Fucking hell. Alright. No, mortal. That I do not resent our time together. Nor Kalix actions. I have seen so much of this world through your eyes. I could not imagine a world where our lives did not intersect. I'd really like to have had that moment with Tagrosa, but apparently. That's not meant to happen because I had to go into an area surrounded by elites in order to get it. Really? Stop now! Cut it out! Holy crap. Alright, there's also a chest over here. I definitely Fuck off. Fuck off. Seriously? Fuck off. You done? Alright. Well, that sucked. Alright. <laughs> uh -oh. But her soul should be put to rest. It's not good that it's being kept in the staff. I agree. Um, oh, no, no, no. That's to hand in that. I don't want to do that yet. Um, I guess I gotta kill a bunch of shit. Oh, 
Okay, is the drop rate going to be like... Okay. I was gonna say, please tell me the drop rate's not gonna be super, 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 super rare for this quest. Was way too much work for nothing. At least when it does drop, it drops a lot. It just doesn't drop every time. I only need six more now. I think it's just best to try to hit more than one at a time. have this toy so I can sell it but it's uh Kira goes to send you a letter hello Matara I've been thinking about your last visit I thought you might know where might know where Kelly goes is yeah I just saw him um given your friendship with him he's difficult to locate nowadays you on the other hand why any messenger knows your name by now <laughs> next time we meet I'd like to hear more about your worldly adventures Whenever you feel the time is right, could you please give this letter to Caligos? I hope to see you both again soon, Caligosa. Um. Dearest Calic, uh, it was never ending, getting to know grief. It was deeper than the oceans of Azeroth. More twisted than the sands of time, darker than the void. Stranglethorn was a welcome distraction. Here, however, rekindled a hope I thought lost. If grief decides to visit Dawn's Blossom, I will meet it with my life. Someday, let's fly over Azeroth again. You don't actually give it to, to Calicos. Maybe you do eventually. It's right. There's there's a dragon right on top of it, but it's here. 
part of part of me. It feels rude to do this because it's literally right under your butt. But I have to get this mana heart bloom. Or rather, I have to plant it. It's ready already. Uh, maybe it's the the As dragon. The world changes, and you change. I stay stagnant. It is time for me to move on. Pardon me, Verdisa. Uh, my apologies. It looks like it's someone's grave. It doesn't have a name, but I think we may just find out. I stand with you. All will be well. I go on for the sand. Fly true. Time is a fickle thing, even if it flows prop, if you want to flows properly. I do not understand how my kin can master it. Fair skies and strong. Would you find it? The throws are rare. That's the flower. All will be well. The flower only grows in specific conditions, and due to that, it contains quite a bit of magical energy. This should be a perfect conduit for Terrakis. Good luck. To mount. You get it as a mount. It is time. I cannot delay this any longer. Let us say our farewells. Assist Caligos in sending off Terragosa. Keeps with the combined magic of the bronze and blue dragons. We should be able to transfer Terragosa's soul from the staff. If you could prepare the grave, I will start the ritual. Now we know whose grave it is. It's good to see you again. Well, okay. Come back soon. <laughs> That's broken, but anyway. That's... That's a staff. My dear sister, I feel as though I am still learning from you, despite being the teacher. Your absence is one that weighs heavily on my heart. I wish I could fly in the same skies as you once again, but clinging to an unchangeable past in hopes that fate may be kind is a fruitless dream. I realize this now. It will be the memories I have of you that will define my own future. Kalik, my dear brother, I wish for you to know one thing. I am proud of you. I... I'm so sorry for failing you. It was my choice. There is a world that needs you out there now, my wingmate. And I know you will guide our kin into the brightest future. It is time for my chapter to end. Farewell, Terragosa. A dear sister, hero, student, and teacher. Though blood does not bind us, you will always be family. May your soul find its place soaring among the stars.
How can I help? I like those holds. So far, moment. Thank you, friend. Complete quest. Together, we can achieve anything. But lingering echo Taragosa teaches you how to transform into Taragosa's visage without the need of dragon. Requires apprentice writing. I got that. Farewell, Taragosa. Dear sister, hero, student, and teacher, the blood does not bind us. We will always be family. May your soul find its place amongst the stars. Now, I don't know if, I don't think all my, all my characters get that, um, or just the ones that have, clearly I can't get this again, I can do the quest again. Hell doesn't want to talk to you. Anyway, one last thing. I had a letter for you, Kelly, but I can't give it to you. Emma goes to the sausage. She's a troll. And then walk away. And this is... They updated it one last time. Senegos. Deceased. Old age. Surrounded by friends and family. I did want to check one more thing, though. So Magosa and uh, Stella Gosa came back to update it. That's her grave, but it's not marked. You just know it if you've done it. Um, now, you can't dragon ride. But supposedly, she is going to be one of the ones you can dragon ride. So. But now I no longer have to carry the staff. I 
and that's it.